Buckle up, we have the wildest news for you today. Mike Tyson has finally broken his silence after he knocked Floyd Mayweather out in sparring. Yep, you heard that right. Iron Mike, the baddest man on the planet, just put Money Mayweather on the canvas, and we've got all the details for you. So we know Mike Tyson is making a return to the realm of boxing this November 15th. And his opponent? None other than Jake Paul, the knockout artist who's been racking up victories like a collector hunting for rare coins. This guy is on a roll, so Mike knew he needed the best training possible. And let's just say, it doesn't get better than having Floyd Mayweather as your sparring partner. But things took a wild turn when one of the sessions got heated and Tyson ended up putting Floyd on the canvas. There's a lot to discuss with this one, so without further ado, let's take a deep dive into the action. Floyd Mayweather undefeated, untouchable, and a master of the sweet science. He's been in the ring with some of the toughest fighters in the world and has come out on top every single time. So when Mike Tyson wanted to sharpen his skills, Floyd was the perfect partner. But as you can imagine, when two legends step into the ring, things don't always go according to plan. The sparring session started like any other, both fighters feeling each other out, throwing jabs, and working on their timing. But as the rounds went on, the intensity started to ramp up. Mike's punches were coming in harder and faster, and that peekaboo style was only making it tougher for Floyd. Speaking of Floyd, well, Floyd was doing what Floyd does best, dodging, weaving, and staying elusive. But then it happened. Tyson, with that explosive power he's known for, threw a right hook that connected with Mayweather's jaw, sending him to the canvas. But that's what the media wants you to know. There's more to this story than it's letting on, and Mike Tyson has spilled the beans on everything. So, what did Mike Tyson have to say after delivering one of the most shocking knockouts of his life? As he sat in the locker room, catching his breath and reflecting on what had just happened, Tyson let the cat out of the bag. You know, Floyd's a smart guy, always running his mouth, thinking he can get under my skin. During the spar, he started talking, saying how he's untouchable, how I'm past my prime. But here's the thing, no one talks to me like that in the ring. I've been through too much, seen too much, to let anyone disrespect me, especially in my house. So I told him straight, you want to talk? Let's see you back it up. And when he kept talking, I gave him what he was asking for. I don't do the talking, I do the fighting. And today, Floyd found out what happens when you mess with Iron Mike. You heard the man, it was no friendly spar, it was a brawl. Tyson put bad intentions behind those shots that put Floyd onto the canvas. Mike hasn't always been a fan of Floyd. In fact, he once said that while Floyd's great at boxing, he's not necessarily great for boxing. And that's a fair point. Floyd's influence is a big reason why today's fighters are more focused on money than the sport itself. We're missing out on the fights we really want to see because everyone's now chasing the payday. And you can thank Floyd for that. Who by himself? He's a little scared man. He's a very small, scared man. When they announced Floyd was coming in to level up Tyson for the Paul fight, people were seriously skeptical. But this is a legendary team up. Two of the goats linking up. You never know what could go down. I commend Tyson because he, he's one of the guys that paved the way for me to be where I'm at. You know, he's a legendary champion. And the only thing I have to say about Mike Tyson is everyone is always trying to judge Mike Tyson. He lived his life the way he wanted to live his life. No one can say how what they would have done if they were in his shoes. Um, boxing was. Although Mike Tyson hasn't always agreed with Floyd's approach to his boxing career, Mayweather looked up to Tyson growing up. So when the chance to train with him came up, Floyd jumped on it. How do you feel about Floyd, though? Huh? How do you feel about awesome Floyd? Awesome fighter, great fighter. You know, he he's a little too into himself. You know, he should be. I was the same way, too, but you have to come to reality some way. You have to, you have to bring your head down to God. We, you know, we're nothing to be f***ing arrogant. Well, you expect us to be ignorant and arrogant. Look where we came from. That's why I asked the question earlier about you mentoring fighters, because I feel like 
I feel like Floyd looked at you growing up like every other fighter. And the persona and the lifestyle was like growing up in the hood, we looked at it like, that's Mike Tyson. We see the cars, the jewelry, the the the, the flair. Like you was a you was yeah, a movie then, star. You was a I, you was a hero. I, I didn't see that. But once they stepped into the ring, all that respect went out the window. Tyson and Mayweather met up for a sparring session at Tyson's gym, which is usually just some light work to stay sharp. Not this time. According to insiders, things got intense fast. With two of the most competitive fighters on the planet, you knew they weren't going to hold back. Both these fighters have huge egos, and both had a lot to show for it in the ring. This spar shook the boxing industry to its core. Sure, this wasn't a professional fight, but knocking out Floyd Mayweather in sparring is still insane. It's a huge deal and proves that Tyson, even at 58, still packs that incredible knockout power. Remember, this is the man who was once the youngest heavyweight champion in history, and he's still showing he's got it. Tyson's power is clearly still a force to be reckoned with. And if he brings that same intensity into the ring against Jake Paul, it could be lights out for the YouTuber. I mean, if Floyd couldn't hang with Tyson, then you can't even imagine what's gonna happen to Jake Paul. I love Mike, I respect him, but we're not friends anymore. Until November 15th, I'm knocking this mother and we're gonna see who's dead. We will see who's dead. Mike, when you hear Jake Paul say though, we're gonna see who's dead. What does that do to you? Do, does that make you put yourself in the mindset of understanding that this young killer wants to take you out? Is he really a young killer? Yeah, you had to go on your little menopause break and postpone the fight, so yeah. Your tummy hurts still? I feel, I feel a lot better now. I covered all your fights in Atlantic City. Are we gonna see the Atlantic City that you showed back in the 90s on November, November 15th? Hey, listen, as soon as I catch this guy, it's going to be totally the over. So what's next for Floyd Mayweather? Known for his comebacks, he's not letting this knockout slide. Even if it's just sparring, his unbeaten record means this stings. Don't be surprised if Floyd calls out Tyson for a rematch. He's got the power and the influence to make it happen. After all, this is the guy who hired a ref mid-fight just because he didn't like the calls. A Floyd Mayweather versus Mike Tyson showdown isn't just a wild fantasy. After dominating John Gotti, Floyd wasted no time getting back to training, this time with Shakur Stevenson. You know those sessions are gonna be next level intense. Floyd's back in the gym, and there's gotta be a reason. If that reason is a fight with Mike Tyson, we're in for the fight of the century. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.